So yesterday I came across this video. So it seems that the American people loved President Biden's State of the Union speech and agreed with the policies that he talked about. In a poll where people were asked if they think Biden's policies will move us in the right or wrong direction, 71% said right direction and only 29% said wrong direction. I mean, see, the evidence is clear. The American people agree with President Biden. They agree with what he wants to accomplish. Now I found that a little suspect. 71% of Americans agree with Biden's policies at the State of the Union address? Hmm. So I made this video. So I went onto their website and I kept seeing things like this. Roughly half of Americans who tuned in. Again, I tuned in and I was never polled. So my opinion isn't in this. So I kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I found this at the very, very, very end. The survey was conducted by 552 people through text message. So Biden's approval rating when it came to his State of the Union address was determined by 552 people that CNN handpicked to do the survey. So I decided to open up my own poll using the exact same question that CNN did. After watching the State of the Union speech, do you agree that Biden's policies he mentioned in his speech are moving us in the right direction? And let me tell you, I was not prepared for the response I got to it. I honestly thought maybe if I'm lucky, I would get 500 to 700 people to participate in this. And boy, was I wrong. Over 11,000 people participated in the poll. I don't even want to get into the comment section because boy, was it popping. But let's move on and look at the results. 2% said they agreed with Biden during his speech and that his policies were moving us in the right direction. While an outstanding 98% said no. But let's take a closer look. Over 11,000 votes in less than 24 hours. While 268 said yes, over 10.8,000 said no. But here's the funny part. For CNN to get their 71% out of the 562 people voting, they would have had to have around 391 people agree with them. Yet out of 11,000 votes, less than 300 agreed. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are the facts. Those are the numbers. And that's what America thinks about Biden.